Hey, as we approach the one week mark of this historic Mauna Loa eruption, let's give you a recap of what's happened and what still lies ahead. So scientists have been anticipating an eruption after earthquake activity picked up in the past few months. But the first major indication that came at 1045 Sunday night. That's when the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory noticed an earthquake swarm beneath Mauna Loa. Less than an hour later, lava broke the surface of the summit caldera for the first time in 38 years. Fears of the lava flowing into residential communities calmed down within a few hours as scientists confirmed that the eruption was happening in the unpopulated Northeast Rift Zone. While no homes are threatened, the lava is inching toward Daniel K. Inouye Highway at this hour. The lava is moving very slowly, though, and there is a chance it may not reach the highway at all. But officials warn it's still too early to say that we are in the clear because there's no telling when this eruption will stop. However, scientists say that most eruptions of this kind only last a few weeks, though longer eruptions have been documented. Here's an interesting fact about this current eruption. Scientists at HVO and UH Hilo have been studying samples and comparing them with those from past eruptions. Now, they've found that this new lava that we're seeing is not left over from the 1984 eruption. Now, that means this eruption is due to a new intrusion of magma into the summit. All right, 635, speaking of the eruption, Chelsea Davis is live on Hawaii Island this morning with the very latest on the lava. The big question this morning, how close is it to the Daniel K. Inouye Highway, Chelsea? Yeah, last report, the flow was about three miles away from the highway, and that was last night. It's probably much closer this morning, but it's hard to tell because the lava has reached flat land, and so it is moving much slower than what it was when it was going downhill. Now, the last estimate is that it will take a week for the lava to reach the road, and that's the main route between Kona and Hilo. Authorities are warning people, businesses, and other organizations to start planning ahead if the road does shut down. Specifically working with the observatories up on Mauna Kea, the, um, the shipping industry as far as utilizing Kwai Hai and, and Hilo Harbors, trying to, trying to you know, shift their load so there's less vehicle tractor trailer traffic um, possibly bound for the Hamakua coast. People will have to take coastal routes to get to the opposite side of the island. Governor Ige says he will activate the National Guard to help in case the lava blocks the highway. Now, we're going to be tracking that situation very closely, but at this point, the highway appears to be the main thing threatened by the lava. Unfortunately, it is in a mostly unpopulated area of the island, but I will be speaking with a family later today who lives at the base of Mauna Kea, which is on the opposite side of the D Daniel K. Inouye Highway, and they are extremely worried about their properties if indeed the lava does cross the highway. So I'll have that report later on today. Steve, Grace, back to you. I look forward to that. Thanks, Chelsea. Hey, some of the best perspectives of the lava are coming from above, and our very own Billy V spoke with one pilot from Paradise Helicopters who also happens to be the founder of the company. Now, he's been waiting for decades to see Mauna Loa erupt and says it has been worth that wait. But there are certainly some hazards while flying over a volcanic eruption. Always try to stay out of that heat because that can really affect the performance of the helicopter. Mm -hmm. And that altitude now, that just accentuates that because the helicopter's uh, performance is a little less at altitude. So you would not want to get in the hot air. And of course, you would not want to get any of the uh, gases that are emitted from an eruption. That just uh, corrodes engines and corrodes the airframes. The first flight was with a media crew who reported that the trip was, quote, epic. All right, coming up at 9, a live news conference with the very latest on the eruption from key officials. We're going to be streaming that on all of our digital platforms.